Well, the name of that book is Miracle Wheels. It's got wheels, and I think it's a miracle. My father was a machinist for the New York Central Railroad, and when something broke around the house, we just fixed it. Growing up, I really didn't know what an engineer was, but I was good at fixing things. So eventually I became one, and I got my PhD from MIT. I got married, started a family, and had a good job as a biomedical engineer. And I got more than 60 patents. One day on a trip to Morocco, I saw a woman dragging herself on the ground, but she's literally taking one step at a time with her hands. That one encounter would change my life. Later, I learned that there are over 75 million people just like that woman who had to crawl or be carried everywhere or live a life of isolation. As an engineer, I thought, why can't this be solved? So in my garage, I built the first prototypes of a low-cost durable wheelchair made of readily available parts. At first, people thought I might have a few loose screws of my own. But after we distributed the first four wheelchairs on a mission trip to India, those four became a hundred, and people started to encourage me to keep going. Well, okay, God, you know, is this what you want? As long as I can get your help, <laughs> I'm, in, I'm into it. So I took a big risk to leave for-profit work to start a nonprofit free wheelchair mission. Now, I really didn't know how to do that. So I got the book, Nonprofit for Dummies, and recruited a bunch of really smart people to help me. That was almost 22 years ago. And now we've distributed more than 1.3 million wheelchairs across 94 different countries around the world. What still amazes me about the mobility provided by these miracle wheels is the ripple effect in the person, in their family, in their caregivers, and in their whole community. I was just an engineer from a small town, but I was called to do this life of service, a life that I could not have ever imagined. We're not done until everybody who needs a wheelchair has one. It has to happen. God didn't make us to crawl.